Hi, I'm Astronomy Magazine Senior Editor Rich Talcott. I'm here today to talk about what promises to be the brightest comet of the year, Comet 103P Hartley. When the comet peaks in October, it should be bright enough to see with naked eyes from under a dark sky. Australian astronomer Malcolm Hartley discovered this comet in March 1986. When it returned to the inner solar system in 1991, astronomers firmly established its orbit. It was the 103rd periodic comet to be recognized, so it received the designation 103P. This comet was the second of three periodic comets Malcolm Hartley discovered, so it also goes by the name Hartley II. The comet orbits the Sun once every 6.5 years. It travels from just outside the orbit of Jupiter to nearly Earth's distance from the Sun. This is the comet's fourth return to the inner solar system since it was discovered, and its best one yet. It should peak at fifth magnitude when it passes closest to Earth in October. A fifth magnitude star is bright enough to see with naked eyes if you're out of the city, but a comet's light spreads out, which makes it harder to see. Still, you'll have a good chance to see it without optical aid from a dark sky sight. Binoculars will show the comet nicely, and a telescope will let you see details. You can start looking for the comet in late September. It then lies in the constellation Cassiopeia and remains visible all night. It passes near the star Lambda Cass the night of September 29th. Comet Hartley heads southeast during October. On the night of October 8-9, it floats next to the famous double cluster in Perseus, a pair of adjacent bright star clusters that will form a beautiful backdrop for the comet. It then passes the bright star Capella in Auriga in mid-October. It comes closest to Earth on October 20th, about the time it will appear brightest in the sky. Unfortunately, a nearly full moon then brightens the sky, making the comet less conspicuous. If Comet Hartley lives up to expectations, it should show two tails emanating from a roughly circular glow. This photograph shows Comet hale Brop from 1997. Although Hartley won't be anywhere near as bright as hale Bopp was, it lets us see the major components of a comet. The circular head, known as the coma, masks the comet's nucleus. The nucleus is a giant ball of ice and dust. In Hartley's case, it measures about a mile across. As sunlight hits the nucleus, the ices boil off and carry dust with them. This cloud of gas and dust forms the coma. Sunlight ionizes the ejected gas molecules, causing them to glow with a bluish color. The solar wind carries this ionized gas away from the comet, creating a straight bluish gas tail. The ejected dust gets pushed away from the sun more gently, so it forms a curving tail. The dust particles simply reflect sunlight, so the dust tail has a white to pale yellow color. Although October marks the peak for Comet 103P Hartley, the comet will continue to make news in November. NASA's epoxy mission will fly past the comet and return stunning images of its nucleus. Never heard of epoxy? Well, it used to be the Deep Impact mission, which flew past Comet 9P Temple in 2005. The spacecraft consisted of two parts, a massive impactor that collided with the comet and a flyby spacecraft that recorded the results. The impact created a bright flash of light as it vaporized a small chunk of the nucleus. The flyby craft still lives, however. It now goes by the name Hypoxy, and it will pass Comet Hartley on November 4th. With any luck, we should be getting pictures of Hartley's nucleus that rival those of Comet Temple. But don't wait until November to look for the comet. It will be at its best in Earth's sky in October. So find a dark observing location, bring along your binoculars or a telescope, and enjoy the view. I know I will.